Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Hi there. I'm here with U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. We're here in front of this very beautiful 1953 Victorus S1A Roadster, and I'm here with the owner, actually. Uh, could you let us know a bit more about your vehicle? Okay, well, Vitruses were one of the very first fiberglass cars in America. It was made in California. They made a couple hundred of them. Um, this is a model S1A, which is a very popular model. It was fashioned after a very famous uh, BMW 328. Uh, so the lines have BMW lines, although it looks a little bit like a Jaguar from the side. Looks a little bit like a Cobra from the front. Uh, Vitrus could have any engine because they basically were sold as a kit. You bought the body and then you took your 40 Ford or whatever, took uh, your body off, put the Vitrus body on, you had what looked like a real nice foreign sports car. The problem, of course, was amateurs were building the Vitruses in their backyards. Most of them are really pretty bad because somebody built a car for the first time. This one has had a long history of owners. It was raced for a while. The door, it only had one door on the driver's side. It was glassed back in, so, you know, the door wouldn't open in racing. Um, see, where am I here? Oh, the engine in this one is a Dodge Hemi. It's uh, three two-barrel carburetors on it. It's got a five-speed transmission. Um, and this one, we took the original, or the frame that was with it when I bought it, we got rid of that, and McKee Engineering is famous for Indianapolis race cars, Can-Am cars, Formula 5000 cars. Bob McKee's been building cars from the 60s, and this has a lot of, well, Bob McKee, we actually built the car in his shop, the frame. So the frame and suspension in this is like no other vitreous in the world. And then Skip McCabe, who owns McCabe Restorations, and he's very well known in restoring high-end cars. He's got some multi-million dollar Ferraris in his shop right now. They did all the body work on this car. And so we had to cut in both doors because it didn't have doors when I got it. We had to cut in the trunk and then we cut the front clip so not only the hood opens now, but the whole front clip hinges forward. So it's a fairly unusual vitreous. It'll be up for sale here at the Mecham Auction tomorrow. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Now we're going to take a look around the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, it has a gorgeous blue color, which it was fully redone, as you just learned. Um, you can see the outer part of the engine right here, uh, whereas when it's lifted, you can see a full glance of everything. Um, as he was saying, the owner was saying um, there are only a few hundred bodies of these built. Um, this is approximately only 200 of them were built back in the 1950s. Uh, and here we'll take a look around the front. Oh, I've got lots of cars. So yeah, you can see just how it has that unique front. See how it just slopes back into here where they had to cut the doors where there were none. Still has a classic wood wheel, steering wheel that is. And of course, lots of chrome detailing. You can see the front of it has still an old fashioned style dashboard. And then now here you can see where they had to cut a trunk in as well. Also the gas tank, also chrome detailing. And here you can see a good view of the entire front of the vehicle. Uh, you already heard the owner say uh, he didn't mention it does have three carburetors and that the original bodies were all made from fiberglass.
And the majority of the restoration is by McCabe Restoration um, and a lot of it by McKee Engineering. And then these wheels are also Hellebrand wheels. Right, I'm just going to head back around the front so you can take one last good look at it. It's a lovely car, lovely color, and done wonderfully. So thanks for watching those classic muscle cars.